be another thing, praise God, when you pray and you spoke to God and then there was nothing. Uh, there was no one, no one picked up the phone on the other end. Praise God. I, I, that, that's something that is disturbing. Amen. And if you ever been in a place, praise God, when you call on God and God don't pick up the phone, amen, is a place where you really need to check yourself. Amen. I, I'm so, I was glad that he spoke to me. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Petey Pablo had a song some time ago that said he spoke to me. Praise God. And, 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 and when we talk about Petey Pablo, amen, in, in that song, amen, and Petey Pablo, who is a rapper, amen, who, who became uh, uh, very popular in, in North Carolina and, and, and in some, uh, some other states, amen, in the East Coast. He became very popular for his song. But, amen, one thing about uh, he, him, it was that he got into a place in his life, amen, where uh, he wasn't going anywhere. Praise God. And he started to look at everything. Amen. And he saw that his life was starting to go downhill. It seemed like his life wasn't what it was supposed to be. Praise God. Amen. And, and, and it, it, he was in a valley. Uh, and, and in his valley, amen, he started to talk to God. Amen. And because of the life that he came out of and because of the things that he's done, Amen. And the, the, the genre of music that he that he he did. Amen. The last thing that he expected was to hear from God. You know, amen. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the saying is that God don't talk to sinners. Come on here. That God doesn't talk to sinners and God don't talk to people. Amen. Who's in their valley. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I, I come to tell you uh, this afternoon, amen, that the God that I serve, the God that I know spoke to me when I was in my stuff. Come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. I, I, I didn't know how to come out. I didn't know how I was going to change. I didn't know how I was going to turn things around. But I said, God, if you give me a chance. If you give me a shot, come on here, I, 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 just give me an opportunity. I declare that I'm going to do everything that's within my power to change my life. God Almighty, understand, but uh, it, it was so it was so intriguing, amen, to, uh, to Petey, amen, well, that he wrote a song called He Spoke to Me. Amen. And in the song, he speaks of the fact that he was in a valley situation and he called out to God and God responded. Sometimes you'll find yourself in the trenches of your life. Sometimes you'll find yourself in the valley of your life. Praise God. And guess what? You could be in the valley. Come on here right in the church. You could be in the valley in your workplace. You could be in the valley. Amen. In the relationship of your life. Come on here. And, and, and you don't know how I'm going to get out. The Bible declares. Amen. That, that, that in the text. Praise God. That there is a man by the name of David. <laughs> David pops up on the scene when the prophet goes to look for who is going to be the next king. Oh, David as is at the right age of 15 years old. Amen. Uh, uh, the prophet anoints him uh, and he goes back into the, the to take care of the sheep. We know the story. Praise God. Uh, understand that at that point, David wasn't built for what God was getting ready to do. Uh, he wasn't prepared for what God was getting ready to do. And so uh, David was operating in his innocence. He was just being who he was. Come on here. A young boy. Come on here. Doing what daddy said. Praise God. Uh, but beloved, I come to let you know that this afternoon sometimes you don't understand that God is operating in your life long before you saw him mm. God uh, hallelujah I, I understand this that, that 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 I found out now that God was operating in my life at a time that I didn't even know he was there praise God uh, there were instances amen that that now I look back and I have to say that that was God come on here Ah, hallelujah. Even in the midst of the chaos and the confusion, I realized that God was always in the number. Someone shout glory. Ah, David, 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 David. Amen. At 15 years old is anointed. He goes back into the sheepfold and he does what daddy tells him to do. Praise God. But he gets to a place where his father says, listen, 
Hallelujah. There was trouble brewing. Uh, uh, there's some trouble going on and I need you, David, uh, amen, to look after your brothers. I need you to do this thing. Uh, I, I've been careful to prepare a meal for your brothers. Uh, hallelujah. Something that will sustain them. Uh, something that will hold them as they are fighting the Philistines. Uh, uh, and go ahead and take this bread and take this cheese uh, and take it to your brothers who are on the front line. Uh, and when you get to the front line, Praise God, give it to them. And, and, and beloved, I come, amen, as we are looking at this, praise God, I, I, I understand that there's something peculiar here in the life of David. Amen. And one thing is that one, when it comes to being effective, amen, being effective comes with challenges. Being able to operate in your, amen, in your vein, in your lane comes with challenges. Amen. I understand this, that, that when we look at this, Saul was the king. Mm -hmm. Saul was fighting the Philistines. Amen. Uh, not only he fought the Philistines, but he was fighting in the valley. Uh, and sometimes you find yourself in a valley situation. Uh, amen. Praise God. And that's not where I want to be. Uh, amen. If I had it my way, I would always be on the mountaintop. Uh, if I had it my way, amen, my pockets will always be on full. Uh, if I had it my way, my health would be 100,000%. Come on here. If I had it my way, amen, I wouldn't have to deal with the things that I'm dealing with. The Bible declares that, amen, that Saul, who is the king, is fighting against the Philistines uh, in the valley situation. Uh, and some of your greatest battles uh, never happen when you're up. Uh, your greatest battles never happen when you're doing good. Uh, it seems like it always happens uh, when you are already dealing with stuff. Uh, when you are already dealing with stuff, it seems like uh, things become compounded. It seemed like one thing on top of another and it's always coming on when I'm dealing with stuff. Why is it God, amen, that I can just live a life trouble free? I wanna live a life trouble free. I want to live a life, amen, without headaches. I, I want to live a life without heartaches. God, is that possible? The Bible declares, amen, that they are already in a, a fight of their life. Amen. And now, amen, this Goliath presents himself. Amen. It's one thing, amen, to be in a fight of your life. Amen, amen. But, but while you are in the fight of your life, there is a giant, amen, that presents itself. Amen. So now my fold, my, my, my fight has been become twofold. I got to deal with them and I got to deal with this. As it is, I don't want to be in the valley. But now I'm in the valley and I got to deal with that and I got to deal with this. Praise God. What am I going to do, Lord, in this situation? The Bible declares, amen, look at this. Mm -hmm. The Bible declares that the fight is happening before you even realize how bad it is. How is that so? Amen. Understand that David is sent by his father. Amen. He knows, amen, that there is something going on. Amen. But he doesn't understand how deep it is. God. Uh, uh, sometimes we don't understand the trouble that we're in. Uh, amen. We, uh, uh, we don't understand how deep the rabbit hole goes. Uh, amen. We just know that we're dealing with some stuff. God, I thank him. Amen. Understand, beloved, amen, when I approach God uh, and I said, Lord, how am I going to manage all these things? Uh, and he just said, just keep on going forward. Uh, Amen. If he would have showed me, I probably would have seen something that goes a lot deeper than what was on the surface. I understand that the challenge, praise God, is so that you are not successful. That you become, you, you never become effective. It's something just to do something, but being effective is something different. Someone say amen. amen. Well, 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 let me slow it down just a little bit. The fight is happening. Before you even realize how bad it is. <laughs> amen. David gets to the place. Amen. And when he gets to the place. Amen. He sees like, oh, my God. Mm. I, I, I didn't think it was like this. Come on. I heard of war. Mm, God. I, I, I heard of battles. Amen. But I didn't know that it goes this deep. I, now, understand this. That, that, that sometimes in life. Amen. You're sent out to do one thing. God, I thank him. Amen. Now, understand his first assignment was sent out by his natural father. Now, his natural father says, uh, David, go bring the bread and cheese to your brothers. Um, amen. Uh, hallelujah. But, but sometimes in life, uh, amen, you can walk into a place where you have overlapping assignments. 
house. Amen. Praise God. That means God is transitioning you. You don't understand the fight that you're in. You don't understand the assignment that you have been beckoned to com uh, complete. The Bible declares as he is bringing the cheese, amen, he moves into a different place. God, I thank him. The Bible declares, amen, that, 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 that when, when he gets to the place, amen, he looks around and is like, whoa, this is not what I expected. I, 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 I haven't even completed my first assignment, and my second assignment is starting to come into play. God, my, my second assignment, assignment is coming into play. Watch this. The Bible declares, amen, amen, that when he gets to this particular place, Amen. That he uh, uh, starts to leave his cart behind. Mm. Uh, uh, scripture says, uh, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I did childish things. I did things without reason. I did things without thinking it all the way through. Praise God. But when I became a man, I put away my childish things. I understand that certain things that come into your life, amen, is to challenge you and, and, and ask you whether or not you're ready to move. God, hallelujah, are you ready to move and shift from this place? Amen, sometimes we are in certain places because there are places of comfort. Amen, we've gotten comfortable in those particular places, amen. Hallelujah, but God says, I want to challenge you. Amen, and I can't move you without the challenge, praise God, because I want you to see that you're worth it, and I want you to see that you're able. Amen, and so I have to challenge you. The Bible declares that he leaves his cart behind, and sometimes the cart is symbolic of the fact that, amen, there are certain places or comfort places in our lives. Amen. The cart, amen, make me feel good. The cart makes me, uh, uh, it makes me feel uh, uh, real uh, gushy on the inside. It makes me feel real easy. Or can I talk? Who is it, amen, on penis that walks around with the blanket? Mm. Come on, yeah. Uh, uh, was that Charlie Brown or, or one of the Linus that walked around with his blanket everywhere he went? Praise God. Amen. And, and that was his comfort. Praise God. And he would not leave it. Praise God. And, and, and sometimes, amen, the cart is just like our blanket. It is our safety net. Praise God. Every time we feel some sort of way, we just transition back into that place. Uh, but God says, in order for me to use you now in this next assignment, you got to be willing and, and be ready to try. Trust me, praise God. I, 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 you got to leave that stuff behind. I know where you come from. I know what you dealt with. I know, hallelujah, how, how all the things that you come out of, amen. But let that stuff go so I can use you in this next assignment. The Bible declares that assignment two starts to come into play. Assignment two starts to come into play. David knows that there's a fight. He doesn't understand how his life is connected to it. Hmm. God, I, God, I thank you. Uh, 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 he knows that he's in a fight, but he doesn't know how he is connected to the fight. Hallelujah. He doesn't understand it. The Bible declares, amen, that at this point, David is between the age of 15 and 19 years old. He is... Uh, get walking, getting ready to walk into manhood. You know, he's a little bit in between, praise God. Hallelujah. You know, you know, you know, uh, in between meaning that he got a little bit of peach fuzz. Come on, yeah. Uh, you, you, you know what I'm talking about, right, uh, Justin? You, you know, you know when you're in that in-between age, you know, you start to, you know, you, you're a young man. You're a young, you're a boy getting ready to walk into your young manhood. Come on here. Yeah. And you start to see things. Mm-hmm. That are, that, that are symbolic of your manhood. Come on here. Hallelujah. You know, you start to see a little peach fuzz. You see the little uh, mustache hairs growing on your lip. Praise God. You start to see some of those things. Uh, uh, can I talk to some of the ladies here, here, um, th th this evening? Come on here. Uh, you know, you start to look at yourself in the mirror and you say, you know, you start to see that, that I'm not the little girl that I used to be. Come on here. Hallelujah. You see your womanhood starting to come in. Come on here. Hallelujah. You know, you used to be like a ruler. Come on here. Hallelujah. But now you're a Coca-Cola bottle. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I talk to someone this morning? You start to look at yourself and say, oh, look at me. My life is changing. Come on, sir. My life is changing. Well, David doesn't understand it. 15 to 19 years old. 
He was anointed at 15. Hallelujah. His assignment is to carry. His assignment is to deliver. Hallelujah. But one thing about God is God is a strategist. God doesn't do anything without an intended end result. Everything that he does is, has an intended end result. Praise God. Hallelujah. When, when, when you were birthed or conceived, there was an intended end result. Come on here. I, I, I understand that, man, you might work at... Uh, Hallelujah, uh, Spectrum or Time Warner or, or wherever you work at, wherever you punch the clock, praise God. But, but that is your natural assignment. Uh, amen. Understand that there is a spiritual assignment. And the thing is, amen, how do I know, not only do I know, but how do I become effective in my spiritual assignment? Hallelujah. Because understand this. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. That, that when your assignment steps into play, your assignment is on a time limit. God, your assignment is on a time limit, praise God. That means if God says, I've given you 30 years to complete this assignment, amen, on the 31st year, your next assignment, mm, God, is starting, praise God. And so what happens is you get people, amen, that get stuck somewhere in the middle. They don't know whether or not they want to step into their new, amen, or they want to remain in their old, praise God, because they did not complete the old. The old will cause you and, 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 and build you up and matriculate you into your new. Can I give you an example? Praise God. I, I, my son, amen. I'm, I'm going to talk about my son today. Amen. Hallelujah. He's in college. Amen. Not that one. Amen. My other son, he's in college. Praise God. Amen. And while he was in high school, I said, tell my son, son, while you're in high school, make sure you do everything that you're supposed to do. Make sure you complete your assignments. Make sure you do your homework. Make sure you do everything that you're supposed to do. Why? Because when you get to college, amen, what you learn in high school, amen, is going to be your, your launching pad, your catapult to your college, praise God. Well, my son, you know, you got some of them, they'll be like, all right, dad, I got it. All right, dad, I understand. So now my son is in college, praise God, amen, and he turns to me about two weeks ago and he says to me and his mother, he said, I think that I'm not going to do the, uh, uh, the doctorate program, amen, uh, uh, because I'm going to be in school for, I think he says, six or seven more years, amen, in order for him to become a doctor. Praise God. And, and, and I said, well, son, um, well, if that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. He said, but it's too long. I said, well, why is it too long? He said, because I got so many prereqs. Mm, God, what do you mean, son? He says, well, be, uh, I, I got to complete all the high school classes that I didn't do when I was in high school, I got to do them in college. And so what am I saying to you? I'm saying to you that sometimes you got to get it right when you on your first assignment because I don't want to be hindered when I step into my second assignment. I want my life to move fluidly. Someone say amen. The Bible declares that David is moving into his second assignment. He has to leave everything behind and walk in his manhood. Look at this. Walk in it. The Bible declares, amen. Mm, David, amen. If you're going to be king, or if you are going to operate in ruleship, then you first must learn how to manage. Praise God. Hallelujah. You must first learn how to manage. Manage what? You got to learn how to manage the situation. In order for you to operate effectively in the thing, things of kingdom, praise God, one of the things that is vital is you have to understand how to manage, amen. Not only manage the, the godly things, but manage your things. Praise God, hallelujah, because you will find, amen, that your stuff will start to overlap kingdom stuff. Amen. And God said there, guess what, amen, that the two cannot operate. Amen. You are in the world, but you are not of the world. Come on here. But God, amen, is of kingdom. Praise God. That means when you are in kingdom assignment, it should be only kingdom that is represented. Come on here. That means before you step into it, you need to wash off. 
God, uh, sometimes you need to cleanse yourself. Uh, you need to rid yourself of the things, praise God, because I don't want to be tainted, amen, kingdom stuff with natural mindset. The Bible declares that David, David, David must first learn how to manage. Look at this. The Bible declares, amen, that when he gets to the place that uh, he is destined to be, amen, that uh, 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 he, he gets to the front line. He brings what he was supposed to do. His first assignment, he completes it. While he's completing it, the second assignment is taking place. He looks and sees something that is challenging. Praise God. Not only he looks and sees something that is challenging, praise God, but he's not intimidated by what he sees. Parts uh, 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 number two, praise God. You cannot be intimidated by the complexity of your assignment. Praise God. Hallelujah. I understand that this week, amen, was a challenging week for me. I said that. Amen. Why was it challenging? Because I took on some things that I've never taken on before. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. And so sometimes the challenge is going to come and God is going to see whether or not you're willing to step up to the plate. Hallelujah. Whether you're, you're going to let go of, of your, come on here, of your mindset, of, of, of the way that you're thinking about yourself and say that greater is he that's on the inside of me than he that is in the world. Come on here. I had to take on the assignment even though I've never done it before, but I had to trust God. God, you lead me. Hmm. Cannot be intimidated. The Bible says that he looks and he sees the Philistine. He sees what is standing before him. Amen. Hallelujah. And he starts to wonder. Look at this. He starts to wonder, why is it that no one is going after this? Come on here. Why is no one challenging this, this giant? Why is no one going after this Goliath in, come on here, that is in our lives? Praise God. Understand that there are certain things, amen, that are assigned to you and to you only. Praise God. Hallelujah. Understand we are in a room of people. Amen. But in this room of people, there might be only one that is a giant slayer. And so you got to understand why God sent you here. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. If you never allow God to be used in your life, come on here. If you never arise to the situation or to the place, amen, you will always miss it. The Bible declares that there is a giant, but there's only one person there. Only one person. What is your assignment? What is your assignment? What is, how, and not only that, but how do you operate in your assignment effectively? The Bible declares that he sees the giant and he's willing to do something about it. When no one else, these people are trained, these people are qualified, mm, God, I thank you. These people are trained, these people are qualified, but God is using the one that is untrained and unqualified to take on the giant. Understand, beloved, you didn't understand what God was doing in your life when he was doing it, praise God. He didn't give you no title, he didn't give you no, no certificate, he didn't give you none of those things. He just said, while you're here, I'm preparing you. I'm giving you a mind of a warrior. I'm giving you a heart of a warrior. Praise God. Why they can't understand why is it that you are always different from everyone else? Why are you always different from everyone else? I'll tell you why. Because God has been training me himself. God Almighty. God has saying that, listen, I called you out for a time such as this, 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 this. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says that he looks at the challenge and amen. He's willing to, he's willing to go after the challenge. He's willing to do something about the challenge. Amen. And, and then, and then, and then Saul comes and says to, says to David, look, I see that you are willing, right? I see that you're willing. And, 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 and this is what I want you to do. I want you to Put on my coat. I want you to put on my stuff. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, uh, 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 God, I thank you. I, I, I know that I'm on my way out. God Almighty. Hallelujah. But but I, I, I need I need some I need some uh, I need some last minute accolades. I, I, I need you. Come on here. I, I need you to put on my coat of mail. Now, look at this. Understand, beloved. There are people, amen, that don't mind you dressing up in their stuff. Praise God. Because guess what? They want to be able to get the credit for what God is getting ready to do. So guess what? Uh, uh, Saul says, put on my stuff. 
Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Put on my stuff, understand that because uh, if I can trick people to thinking, amen, that, that the victory that you getting ready to get, come on here, came by way of me, come on here, hallelujah, then, 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 then that's kudos for me. But God said, listen, it's not, nobody's going to get the credit for what you're getting ready to do. No one is going to get the credit for how I'm getting ready to move in your life. Hallelujah. Guess what? You don't need to put on that stuff. You, need to, you don't need to dress up like they did. You don't need to act like they did. Praise God. You just got to be yourself. And if you be yourself, I can move and operate through you. Understand that David is not trying to be like everyone else. David is trying to be David. Amen. And if you can accept David, then you can accept God. Because the Bible declares that David had a heart. Karabasha. He had a heart. The Bible declares that he's up for the challenge. Amen. He says to Saul that, look, I can't operate with this coat on because the coat makes me clumsy. This thing that you're putting on me, praise God, weighs me down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, in order for you to be effective in the things of kingdom, amen, you got to be comfortable in who you are. Praise God. Amen. You got to receive me as I am. I'm not made up. I'm not pretend. Come on here. I'm going to be genuine. Praise God. And if you can accept that, then we can move on and we could do what we got to do. Praise God. But if you can't accept that, baby, hallelujah, there is a door. Hey, God. Hallelujah. With a door now, about it. And it ain't nothing for you to use it. The Bible declares that David is using what God gave him. Look at this. God's using. Look, 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 look. The Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says that. Saul, I can't use this. Because every time I put it on, I don't feel right. Mm hmm. Hallelujah. It, 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 its objective is to reconfigure me. It, its objective is to change me. Come on here. Hallelujah. So I, I, I can't do that. Praise God. Amen. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm okay. God. Uh, sometimes it's okay for you to say no. Mm. Sometimes it's okay for you to say, listen, no, no, I can't do it today. Praise God. It's okay for you to say, listen, uh, nah, that's not for me. That's not my assignment. That's not my thing. Praise God. It's okay to do that. David says, I can't wear it. I can't put it on. I can't put it on. Saul's so like, cool. You don't have to put it on. Um, I, I got some other things, you know, maybe, you know, praise God. Understand, mm, God, I thank you. I, I, I got some other things that you can try. Amen. I got some other things, amen, that, that, that might work. Praise God. Hallelujah. But guess what? Anything, look at this. Praise God. If God didn't send it, I don't want it. Mm, God. If God didn't say that it's for me, I don't want it. Praise God. Understand, beloved, there comes a time in the life of the believer where you got to say that whatever God give me, that's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to use nothing else. Amen. I'm not going to, I'm not going to patty cake it. I'm not going to uh, build it up. I'm not going to make it what it isn't. Praise God. It is what it is. It is what it is. He sees the giant. He's prepared to fight the giant. Scripture says that he knows that God will give them, give them victory, but the victory won't be with the spear or the sword. Amen. So David knows that the victory is going to be his, but it's not going to come by, by the, the means of everyone else. God, I thank him. Hallelujah. They might have gotten the victory with the sword and the spear, but God said, I'm going to use you differently. God, I thank you. God said, listen, you got to be open to being used differently. God, in order for me to use you in 2021 in the things of kingdom, you got to be ready to be used differently. That means, guess what? Allow God to shape and mold you. Allow God to whisper in your ear and you say, God, all right, that's what you won't do. Then that's what I'm going to do because I want to do kingdom. The Bible declares that he then goes into a place. Amen. He then goes into a place where he's prepared to fight. He's prepared to fight the giant. The giant, nine feet, nine inches, huge. David, about five feet five. Amen. Little guy, praise God. Little guy. Amen. He's facing something that is formidable. He's facing something, amen, that the average person would turn away from. Hallelujah. The average person. God, I thank you. David never knew nor understood why is it that, come on here, that first God spoke to Jesse and said to Jesse, cook this meal. 
get this stuff together. He never knew that, amen, why God was speaking to Jesse and said, Jesse, send, um, send David. Come on here. He could have sent one of the servants. He could have sent anybody else to go to the brothers, praise God. David never knew or understood, amen. He understood that there was a fight, but he didn't understand how he was tied into it. Amen. Understand that the assignment starts early on. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Even with his pain, even with the hurt, even with the things that he dealt with, David dealt with at an early age. Amen. Look at this. It did not hinder him. Amen. It caused him to move and operate. Understand that God is a strategist. He gets to a place. He's looking at the challenger. Formidable in height. Formidable in size. Doesn't look like him. The Bible calls him an uncircumcised Philistine. That means he is, that means that the Philistine is one that is operating outside the realms of the natural, natural uh, field of battle. Come on here. That, that, God, I thank you. That means some of the things that we face spiritually, amen, are going to be things that you never faced before. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. That's where your kingdom comes in. Amen. Praise God. Because guess what? You cannot use church in this realm. Praise God. You cannot use just ministry on this realm. Amen. This is where you start to speak kingdom. This is when you start to speak to the atmosphere and you start to declare and decree and you speak to the angels and you set them in order. Come on here. This is when you start to speak to everything around you. Now, praise God. This is where things start to change. You have to move into your kingdom. David, 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 David takes the challenge. When he takes the challenge, amen. Now understand this. Uh, uh, he has nothing but some, uh, a slingshot. Hallelujah. When he left the cart behind, amen, the two things that he carried with him was the things that was, uh, that was, uh, 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 that was, uh, 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 it, that was his first assignment, praise God. He, th those were the things that he carried, two things. He carried the bread and the cheese because that was part of his first assignment, praise God. But but understand that even in his innocence, pray, I thank you, Holy Ghost, even in his innocence, he took the slingshot because he was not yet a man, but he was getting ready to be a man, praise God. But sometimes you carry some of that childish stuff with you, amen, unbeknownst to you. Sometimes these things are so attached to you, amen, that you pick them up without even thinking thinking about it. Mm. God, I thank you. Sometimes your response to certain situations, you don't even realize it, but your response is like how you respond when you was mm, back then. Praise God. I, I, I could just imagine that David didn't even realize that. Guess what? That he even picked up the slingshot. It's automatic. Amen. Nani, nani, he ain't got to think about it. It's like, boom. You know, just like carrying, getting your car key. When you're going to walk out, boom, what's the first thing you carry? Uh, what's the first thing y'all pick up when you get ready to step out? Phone and your keys, right? Come on here. Some of y'all carry three things. Your phone, your keys, and your pocketbook. Praise God. Hallelujah. And if you don't have near one of them, amen, life is not the same. Uh, you know, I could just imagine that David felt the same way. David felt the same way. David felt that, listen, uh, uh, if, if I don't take this, I just don't feel the same. God, I thank you. God will attach certain things to you. He'll put certain things, amen, with you, praise God, that you don't realize that this thing is necessary. This thing is necessary. Praise God. You know, uh, your boldness, your candor. Come on here. Uh, 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 you know, um, you, you're the type, type of person that don't bite your tongue. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm not going to take back. I'm not going to I'm not going to apologize for what you know, I'm, you know, you got that personality. Praise God. Understand that that personality is made for kingdom. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. And, and people told you to be quiet. People told you, shut up. Don't you say that. Blah, 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 blah. But one thing about God, amen. God said, if you allow me, amen, I could shape and mold that for kingdom. God, I thank you. If you allow me, praise God, I'm getting ready to use that tenacity. I'm getting ready to use that attitude. I'm getting ready to use that forwardness that you have. I'm getting ready to use you because I'm going to make you effective. You don't understand that everything that I put in your lap is for a reason. God, I thank you. The enemy has manipulated it. The enemy has used it for his own, uh, uh, his own stuff. But God said, but, but when you cross over on this assignment, you're going to understand that things is getting ready to change. I, I, I'm getting ready to change you. I'm getting ready to mold you. I'm getting ready to shift you, praise God, into a realm that you don't understand. Understand that, that many years ago, praise God, we did the church thing. 20 years ago, we were doing the church thing. 
15 years ago, we did the ministry thing. Praise God. And then we were, after that, we were like, well, what's next? Kingdom. What is kingdom? Kingdom is thinking out of the box. Kingdom is saying that, listen, I'm getting ready to do things differently. Kingdom says, I think differently. I'm an erratic thinker, praise God, Abashata. Amen. I'm a thinker, amen, that stinks things and speak it, praise God. Amen. A, a, a kingdom says that I'm not going to allow the world to shape my thoughts. I'm not going to allow the situation to shape my thoughts. Amen. Praise God. I look at this. My, look at this. My thoughts shape my situation. The Bible declares that he then goes out. He got the slingshot in his hand. Hallelujah. Amen. God, I thank you. God said, listen, I want you to think on your feet. Hmm. You don't know what is it that you're facing. You don't know how you're going to win. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> you ever been in a fight, praise God, or you get ready to get into a fight, you know the person bigger than you, you don't know how you're going to win, but guess what, I'm going into this fight anyhow. You know, I'm not going to back down, I'm not going to take back, I'm not going to do none of those things. I'm, guess what, I don't know how it's going to happen, but just get ready to happen. Right. Can, can, I, can we talk? Can we talk? You know, can we talk? You know, you you don't know how I'm going to fight. I don't know how I'm going to get this victory, but I know I'm going to get it. David steps out. He ain't got nothing in his hand, but his slingshot. I could just imagine little old David just walking. Amen. His little his little Jesus sandals on. 